Hello. It has been a while since I've done a video like this, but this is the start of a rather momentous occasion, I'd say, so I figured I'd film something. Basically, I am graduating on Wednesday, because uh, today is the, what day is it, the 10th of July, and I'm graduating on the 13th. Two weeks later, exactly, I'm moving out, I'm moving back to the Netherlands to do a master's programme for a year. I need to pack and there's a lot of stuff right now everywhere. I don't really know what I'm doing at the moment. I've just gathered things. And yeah, since I filmed moving out of my uh, accommodation in year one, um, I figured I'd do something now as well. I'm gonna try and clear this mess. Um, sort through that. We've got loads of stuff that we are going to donate to charities and... going to take a few suitcases with them but that's changed they took one and then all the other ones were sending because I was going to send one or two anyway because I'm flying with a budget airline and I need to transfer flights as well so it would have been more expensive for me to actually take a suitcase with me than it would have been to send it which is quite plainly ridiculous <laughs> plainly so now I've got six suitcases here to pack which is kind of terrible and I've finally managed to arrange for a charity to come pick up um, all of the clothes and crockery and books and stuff that we're donating so that's good and then the fun part is that I'm also packing for a four day trip to London as well um, so I'm using like my little carry on suitcase for that but I also kind of need to pack that for my actual carry on stuff so that's confusing. So I think I'll just pack the suitcase for London and then I'll make a little pile of the stuff that's gonna go in there once I've come back. Yep, it's all gonna go by very quickly now. <laughs> Good it is done! All my stuff is packed and my room still looks like a mess. But most of the stuff that's here is rubbish so that's good i am going away tomorrow so now all that's left for me to do is wait for my suitcases to get picked up throw all the stuff that's in here out and clean what time is it quarter to one <laughs> i got to be up in about four hours i need to quickly hoover throw the trash away and I think I'm done. Basically, you know how the people were supposed to come pick up my suitcases today to ship them home. Um, that didn't happen because uh, someone miscommunicated something due to which there wasn't a big fan available that could carry more heavy stuff. So I apparently needed one that um, carried more heavy stuff. So that wasn't available, but I didn't know about this. And um, 
I wouldn't have known about it if I hadn't called the company about something else. <laughs> Which is complete bullshit. So at 5pm I found out that my suitcases weren't going to be picked up today. And I couldn't ship them. And, well that left me in a bit of a pickle, didn't it? Because my flight is at 8.45am so I need to leave here at about 6, I want to say. And the earliest they could pick up would be 9. So that was never going to happen. And they didn't really offer me any solutions except rescheduling um, pickup. But obviously I would have missed my flight if I had to uh, reschedule it. And they were most likely not going to reimburse me for a new flight. So that was annoying. So what has now happened is that I have rescheduled the pickup. But instead they're going to pick it up at a friend's house. So earlier tonight, uh, my friend and I loaded my six suitcases into a taxi, which the taxi driver was not quite happy about, and brought it to her house. So that's where it's going to be picked up. And I'm just not very happy with that. Oh, and because I spent all day waiting, because pickup could be between nine and six, I didn't really do much today because well, I didn't want to shower in case I'd miss the pickup, and then um, I postponed uh, throwing all the things into the bins outside because I was afraid that if I'd be outside I'd miss the collection as well. But all the things were in the way of tidying, so I haven't tidied as well as I should have, which means that in the morning when I wake up I still need to hoover and wipe some services down. Basically today's just been a whole big waste except for the evening when I went to see a few friends at a pub which I suppose I could have not done and tidied instead but that was the last time I was gonna see my friends for god knows how long. I need to go now and go get some sleep. It won't be a lot. I hope I get to sleep in the plane. And this is my last night in 40 Margot Street. Last night in Newcastle for quite some time. Goodbye little flat. Hi, I am back on Dutch soil. An unexpected plan has taken place, basically. My mum picked me up from the airport in the car and then we ate somewhere um, along the motorway and now she's taking the bus home from there and I'm driving to Groningen on my own, uh, which I was gonna do anyway. But I thought I was gonna be home first, but that's not happening. I'm now gonna drive, I don't, I really don't know which way to go, but I've got a sat nav. So that will be interesting. And I'm really warm. Um, someone's calling me. Oh. Hi. That was my mum telling me how to work the car because it runs on gas. Like actual gas rather than petrol. Address. I should probably turn on the car. So, yeah. This is going to be an interesting adventure. No, stop it. What makes it even more fun is that it's raining. It's going to be like a two hour drive, which like, I've driven two hours, but never on my own. So that's going to be an adventure. And I'm literally going there to view a room, which is probably going to take like 15 minutes. Then I'm going to spend the night in Colonia. And then I'm driving home tomorrow. But right, I'm going to sort all this out. And start driving. Hello, I made it to Gronia and the next day. It's really warm in the car. Um, basically I drove to Groningen. I made it on my own to our drive. Well done me. Uh, I viewed the room. I don't think I got it because I think I would have heard something by now because they did say they would get in touch in the morning and I haven't so that's too bad. I'm now going to drive to Ikea because that's free parking. I'm going to briefly go to the uni to drop something off and then maybe go to like um, a letting agents type thing. 
So that's my plan for today. I might bring my camera along. Show you around the city. <laughs> like, I don't know the city at all. Even though I have family living here, I haven't really been to the city centre all that often. So I don't really know my way around. But I'm going to turn the aircon on because it's way too hot in here. <laughs> okay, here we go again. And then later today I'm driving home. So this is the main building of the university. My channel. Today's video is going to be my July wrap up. First of all, I read one bestseller across them. I read this on my phone as an ebook, and it's basically. 